Hi guys, my name's Allie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I live off grid in the woods of Kentucky. All right, we got Poodle. But that has nothing to do with what I am videoing today. I am gonna show you guys how to turn these really ugly Goodwill pants into some super cute shorts, all for $6 and you can easily do it yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark a spot on how long I want these shorts. So I like this new style of like crop shorts, but still kind of long. I'll insert my inspo picture here. This is my friend Faith and these shorts, I am obsessed with them. So I want mine to come out somewhat like that. So I have a pair of Bermuda shorts that I had already cut and I thought about doing it with these, but once I saw that picture, I knew I had to make shorts that looked like that. So I'm gonna go about, I think like right here and I'm just using a pen. You should probably use chalk or something that you can mark out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this pen. And I marked a little spot and I'm going to take my pants off and then I will cut them. And you wanna do it a little bit longer the first time, just in case it turns out shorter than you expect. Okay, so here we have the jeans and what I'm gonna do is just, I'm going to make sure that they are buttoned completely on the front here and zipped to where they will naturally lay. So you can see that they kind of have a dip down here. And so then I'm going to fold them right at the crotch on the inseam and just make sure that everything is perfectly lined up so that when I make my cut, it all matches. So see how this is kind of weird. So right here we have our mark and I'm just going to find something straight and make a line across the pants. All right, I got my trusty level here. And so I am going to just put it on that mark, get it as straight as I can. And I'm just gonna use a pencil for now to go all the way across, just to make a light line they really don't have to be perfect because the bottom is going to be frayed. So, just like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go at it. I am not a perfectionist. And some people say to not do both at once, but if you have sharp enough scissors, then you can just go for it. Okay, we cut off the ends. This is what they look like. And then I'm gonna try them on to make sure they are the right length that I would like. Okay, so here they are now at this length. And I like them, let's see. So I'm trying to imagine what they'll look like frayed. The best way to get a frayed edge is to put them in the dryer. Um, we don't have a dryer, so that's not happening today. But, okay, so I think I like the length of these shorts. Um, I don't mind it. I think it'll look really good once I fray the edges. So I'll show you a couple ways that I try to fray the edges. I'm not gonna add any holes or distressing to these jeans because I just wanna keep the classic look that they already have. So a couple ways I've seen people distress jeans are with tweezers where you can just go in and grab the little white strings and pull them out it's very time consuming again just throwing them in the dryer with like a wet towel is going to do it a much quicker for you or sometimes you can take a knife and just like run it along the edges and it'll pull all the white strings out like that And 
and they will get more and more distressed as you wash them or as you mess with all these strings. And then if some come out super long, you can obviously cut them down. But that is the gist of it. I'll show you guys what they look like when I'm finished. Also another tip, I have made holes in my jeans before and a steak knife does work great for um, doing that. And so you can cut like one slice in the jeans and then you can start pulling them out. So see how these are still attached on both sides because it's a straight line in the jeans. So as I go, so you can see here, I'm fraying the edges with the knife and then you can see the strings start to come out and you can kind of pop them out like this. So they are still attached on both sides, but just another way to distress the jeans and they'll, um, They'll have a little hang down, kind of like this. I'll show you when I put them on. So just another tip if you're doing this on more jeans. So you can see how the white threading goes across. And so you can just take tweezers or a knife and you can just pull out each string. And then you can start to pull out each of the strings in there so that you can get a set of strings like this. I don't know if that makes sense. So here's one side not done and the other side is done. And so now I'll go back into the other side. Okay, so I definitely think this works the best. So this is a serrated like steak knife, but it is doing what I want because it's also fraying, see how it's fraying the jean there instead of just like this is not done yet, and this part is done. So it's fraying the jeans there. So I'm just gonna keep going at it with the steak knife. Okay, so here they are with a really wrinkly shirt, but I think they're super cute. Here they are with a belt. I love a big belt. And I just, I, lo I love this length because you don't have to worry about your butt falling out of your pants. And I'm just so glad that this is in style and not booty shorts because we can rock these. We can rock them. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Give me a like or a comment if you want to see more clothing videos or sewing videos. I used to sew a lot and I really want to learn to like make a skirt or pants or something fun. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It really helps me out and we'll see you next time.